Dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to tell you something. Please watch video completely and sit with copy pen. And if you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. If you find anywhere some problems or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. The question is here to find the distance d over which a signal can be seen clearly in foggy conditions. A railway's engineer uses dimensional analysis and assumes that the distance depends on the mass density rho of the fog intensity here the formula is given power by area denoted by capital S of the light from the signal and the frequency f. The engineers find that d is proportional to s raised to power 1 by n. Here we have to find out value of n. Now according to the question, here we have given that distance is depend on mass density denoted by rho. Second things, fog intensity denoted by s and third is frequency. Here we have considered the power dx, y, and z. Okay. And here, as we know that the dimension formula of distance is L, so it can be written as m raised to power 0, L raised to power 1, and t raised to power 0. Now, the density here, density mass upon volume means m, L raised to power minus 3 raised to power x. Here, the formula S is given, fog intensity is given that power upon area. What is the dimension formula of power? M L2 T minus 3 and area is L square. So, M T raised to power minus 3. Now, M T raised to power minus 3 Y. And frequency, as we know that the frequency is T raised to power minus 1. And it is z. Okay. Now it can be written as m0 l t0 m raised to power x l raised to power minus 3x m raised to power y t raised to power minus 3y and t raised to power minus z. m0 l raised to power 1 t0 m raised to power x plus y l here minus 3x and uh, t raised to power can be written as minus 3 by minus z. Now, compare the powers according to the dimension formula, left hand side and right hand side. Here, it can be seen that m raised to power x plus y, here m raised to power 0, means x plus y equal to 0, and uh, second, minus 3x, l raised to power minus 3x, here l raised to power 1, it means minus 3x equal to 1. Then x can be written as minus 1 by 3. Now substitute this value in first equation. We will get y equal to 0, then y equal to 1 by 3. And uh, last minus 3y minus z equal to 0. Here we have already find out y raised to power 1 by 3 equal to 0, 3, 3 cancel out. Then uh, minus z equal to 1, then z equal to minus 1. Here we have given in the question d is directly proportional to the s raised to power 1 by m. It is given in the question. But here d is proportional to s raised to power. What is the value of y? y raised to y is 1 by 3. Now by comparing these terms, n equal to 3. Okay, so it is correct answer. I hope so. You have understood this uh, question. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. And I remind you, those who have not subscribed yet, do it immediately by pressing bell icon. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.